Oh, this dude looks sketchy, but do that customer already? Hey, sir, how's it going? How's it going, my man? And it seems like he likes the car. Nice car. Yeah, I know, right? Do you maybe want to buy it, sir? I'm actually selling this car for $200,000. So, yeah, if you're interested, let me know. You can even test drive it if you want to. I would need to test drive it first. Of course. Let's go. Let's go. You drive. You drive, my man. Okay, so it already seems like I'm getting a customer, and I have opened up my own dealership here in Brookhaven, and I'm going to be trying to sell luxury cars to today. And so far, dude, it actually seems pretty good. Oh, man. Where are you going now, buddy? No, 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 no. It's expensive, bro. Holy cow, dude. You can't be jumping like that on a test drive. Oh, 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 man. You're gonna break the car. You're gonna break the car, dude. What are you doing? This is fast. Bro, don't break the car, man. It's really, really expensive. Oh, man. And I don't even know if you can afford it, dude. So I would urge you to just relax. Holy cow, dude. Okay, so yeah, maybe it was a bad idea to let people test drive the cars because it seems like people are just way, way, way too crazy here in Brookhaven. Woo! This is so fun! Please stop, sir! Please stop, bro! Dude, I'm actually pretty scared right now and I'm not really sure what this guy is up to, so yeah, I would have him to stop. Can I get my money from my house to buy this? Sure, dude, that'll be $200,000. Okay, so he says he's gonna actually grab the money, so I guess it's fine that he's driving kind of crazy if he actually got the money for this car and what is he doing, bro? What? Uh, why didn't you just unlock the door, dude, if you're getting money from your own house? Bro, dude, I just saw an explosion on the second floor. Oh, no, dude. Am I sitting with a crazy robber, dude? That would have been crazy, bro. Hopefully, this guy's not a robber. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Sir, was that really your house or did you just rob somebody, man? I'm actually kind of curious about that, bro, because that does not seem like it was your house, bro. You literally just exploded up the safe. Who cares? I care, bro. Come on, dude. Why wouldn't I care, dude? I'm literally sitting in a car with a robber right now. What if the cops show up? Bro, oh man, dude. He hasn't even paid for the car yet. Money is money. Well, pay for it then, dude, because you're driving like a madman. And I'm worried if you break it, you're not gonna pay for it. Okay, there we go. We are jumping out. And dude, he actually got the money. Here we go. Okay, well, thank you, sir. Enjoy your new car, man. Oh, dude, that one must have been the weirdest and most crazy sale I've had. Thanks for the car. Yeah, no worries, sir. You enjoy it, bro. And hopefully it will actually crash or something like that because it deserves it. I think it, this money is like wrong the money and yeah i should probably deliver it back to the police or something like that i don't know man what should i do but i should definitely get another car and try to get another sale in okay i got myself a brand new car i'm going to be trying to sell and this is a rolls royce it's super super fancy and this one actually costs like five hundred thousand dollars so yeah hopefully we'll be able to sell it and make some more money everybody come to l16 for car dealership and who is this dude right here man he's pulling up to the car dealership with that small car Bro, what? Hey, sir, how's it going? I need a better car. Yeah, I can see that, bro. Like, what is that, bro? Bruh. Bro, you can't be driving around with that thing right there, man. Uh, maybe you might be interested in buying this one. This is a real car. It's super slow. Well, sir, I would urge you to test out this one. This is a pretty cool and fast and fancy car. Whoa. Yeah, I know, right? You maybe want to test ride it, dude. Oh, man, I think I might actually get a sale in now. That would have been dope. For sure. All right, well, let's go to hop in and, yeah, go for a little test ride with this dude right here and see if he might actually enjoy this car. Okay, let's see. He's driving actually a lot better than the other guy. The other guy was basically doing stunts with the car and I didn't really like that. So, yeah, this guy's actually taking it nice and slow. He's actually laying in the wrong lane, though, but, yeah. Can I change colors? Of course you can, sir. It will cost you a bit extra extra, though. It's not for free, my man. So, yeah, if you want to change colors, we can do that. What about rims? Yep, we can do rims as well, sir, but then we would have to go over to the auto shop and do some custom work. So, yeah, it will cost you a lot more, though, but, uh, yeah, we can do it if you want to. Alrighty, sir, well, what color do you want? I want a taller, cooler rims and paint red. Okay, sure, I can fix that for you, sir. It will cost you $600,000 in total, though. No problem. Okay, well, nice. Let's go to get it fixed up. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and put it onto the this uh, rig right here and get it up because we are going to be changing tires, painting it, and even making it taller. So yeah, this dude is going to be making a freak of a car out of this luxury vehicle, but yeah, I think it would be cool. There we go. Let's go and grab some tools and get to work. Alrighty, let's go and get this car fixed up. And boom, after a lot of work, we have actually fixed up the car. Let's go and get it down from the lift again and I even added turbo to this car. It's just a nice little surprise. He didn't even ask 
for it. But I figure, hey, if you're gonna customize a car this much, you will definitely want some turbo on it. So let's go and show him the car and hopefully he will actually like it. Do you like it, sir? That looks super cool. Yeah, bro, I even added a turbo for you just so you can actually accelerate a little bit faster. So you can go crazy fast with this thing. Awesome. Can I pay the card? Of course you can, sir. Uh, come with me into the auto shop and scan your card. There we go. It went through. Boom, dude. Thanks so much for the car. Yeah, congrats on the purchase uh, on the new car. But can you maybe drive it back to the dealership? I don't really have a car myself. Sure thing. All right. Well, let's go to hop into the newly modified vehicle. And it's going to be taking me over to the dealership. And from there, we have to import. Oh, dude, this car is super fast now. And look how tall it is. Dude, it's literally such a crazy build. Okay, there we go. We're back over at the dealership. And let's go to import some new vehicles. See ya. Yeah, bye, sir. You have a good one. You have a good one, my man. And yeah, I think we're super happy about the car. And we just made $600,000 from that sale, which is just insane. All right, and there we go. We have yet imported another vehicle. And this one is the Cadillac. And look at this car, dude. It actually looks super, super cool. And it's a pretty huge SUV. Hopefully, some people will actually be interested in buying this one because it's such a cool car. And yeah, I definitely need to sell it. And it will cost around $150,000. And who is this dude? on a bike right here, bro. What? Is this guy gonna be interested in buying this car? Hey, sir. Is that car for sale? Sure is, my man. Yeah, it's definitely for sale. Are you maybe interested in buying it? You think you could pull a tractor? Ah, uh, yeah, dude. It's a pretty strong vehicle, my man. Look at this thing, man. It got a huge engine in it. So it will definitely be able to pull a tractor. So yeah, I think this cowboy here needs a pretty strong car. Perfect. All right, and cowboy, do you maybe want to test it out before you buy it or what? Yeah, you can drive after me in the motorcycle. Okay, sure. So I think he wants me to drive his motorcycle after this dude. Okay, that's a kind of weird request, but I'm not saying no. I kind of want to drive the motorcycle around. All right, well, let's gonna go for a test ride then. This cowboy just wanted to test ride my car, and I am basically just test riding his motorcycle. And yeah, bro, his motorcycle is kind of old. It's not the newest kind. And where is this cowboy going, bro? No, 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 no. Don't go up the mountain. No, 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 stop, <laughs> cowboy. Oh! bro. That could have been lethal, bro. Okay, so where is this dude going? I'm not really sure. Is he going down again? Bro, don't go up the mountain, dude. This thing is gonna climb me. Oh, man, is an earthquake going on, bro? I think an earthquake is going, man. Holy mama. I don't think the mountain is a safe place. Earthquake. Yeah, it just got over, man. I think we're good. I think we're good. Holy mama, dude. That was kind of crazy. We literally just experienced an earthquake. I'll take this to the ranch. Okay, sure. Bring it over to the ranch then, sir. Alrighty. So, I think he's actually interested in buying that car and let's gonna bring it over to the ranch then and bring his motorcycle as well all righty dude so yeah we might actually get a sale in today and that would have been awesome i definitely need to sell this car all righty sir that would be one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for this pretty awesome vehicle i just gotta go get the money okay okay dude is he hiding money inside of the stalls right there bro this guy is crazy you can't be hiding one hundred and fifty thousand dollars like that yeah thank you sir i do appreciate the money my man you can take the motorcycle back home i'll keep the car. Okay, deal. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Bro, he literally just gave me this trash motorcycle. Well, that's not bad. At least I can get home now. So let's gonna jump on the back of the motorcycle and bring this puppy home. Alrighty, so I basically sold three supercars in Brookhaven today, which is not bad at all. So I would say my little dealership was actually super, super successful. And yeah, actually having it in the middle of the neighborhood, I think that's pretty good as well because people can easily see the dealership. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.